Hey guys, so this is split. This this video is split between like a VM review episode and a VM upgrade episode. Because I don't know, it's kind of both. This is the only way you can install Windows Neptune. However, it it is an upgrade. So we're not on Windows Neptune yet. This is this is Windows 2000, as you see from the start bar. So yeah. So I already have the Windows Neptune ISO inserted, so we're going to connect that. Here it is, Windows Microsoft Neptune TV. The CD the C D ROM contains a newer version of Windows than the than the one you're currently using. Newer version? What was this made like two thousand one? Highly doubt it. But I mean I think I, I I'm pretty sure what like <clears throat> I'm pretty sure Windows Neptune released in nineteen ninety nine and Windows two thousand released in well two thousand, so uh, yes, we'll install Neptune. Welcome to the Neptune Setup Wizard. Next. I accept this agreement. Let me do all that. Restarting the computer. Uh, finish. So, we can either do Windows 2000, just go to Windows 2000, or Neptune Setup Wizard. We're going to select Neptune Setup. Set up the starting Neptune. So if you don't know what Windows Neptune is, it's basically like, this was a very, very early version of Windows XP made in 2000 and, okay, sorry, sorry, no, sorry, 1999. Yeah, I just, I just listed the day before, 1999. And it actually had a brother named, like, so, sort of a brother, called Windows, like, Odyssey. And, okay, so we're, we're going to do this. Uh, C. L. So, anyways, yeah, so... It had sort of a brother named Windows Odyssey, which we have no pictures of, not even the logo. And of course, we don't have any like leaked builds of it, so. But all, so all we know is its name is Windows Odyssey. It's, oh. It's uh, and it was it was supposed to be the business counterpart to Windows Neptune, which is the home version of Windows Odyssey, and and it also got combined with Windows Neptune to make Windows Whistler, which then became Windows XP. Quite an interesting story, I'd say. But yeah, we know. so here it is. Here's the boot screen. Microsoft Neptune under construction. Neptune installation progress. I don't know if this was made in like a foreign country and in like like that that doesn't speak English and it just got freaking Translated wrong? Like, what is this? I don't know. Ne like, Neptune installation progress. Like, it should say... It, it, it's Neptune installing. Or whatever the hell. Welcome to the Neptune setup wizard. Next. So, yeah. This is basically the same as Windows 2000. Like, this is... 
this, I'm pretty sure this is the exact same setup as Windows 2000, and it might take, like, several minutes, like Windows 2000, so I'm just gonna catch it back when this is done. Alright, now it's done, so we're gonna click next, name, organization, Oh, this is a home version. We don't have to do that. Con game PC? Damn, gaming PCs existed even in 1999. Okay, so we're going to name this WinNep, or short for Windows Neptune. Do that. And thankfully, we don't have to do any product keys. Oh yeah, we can load up the comments window while we're at it. Let's see. Uh, how many users would see this problem? Pretty much everybody. Oh, what? 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 Oh. <sighs> Almost nobody. A few people. Lots of people are pretty much everybody. Intolerable. Annoying. Easily noticeable. Barely noticeable. Okay, so configuring com plus. I don't know what that is. Uh, complete figure, configuration of fax service. Please vote all set up install start menu items. Please uh, wait while set up registers components. It's running smooth. It's just, it's just doing this. Okay, I'm gonna catch it back when this is all done. Bye. All right, now we're gonna complete it. It's booting up, seeing that lovely, lovely. Lovely boot screen. I, I like the logo. I, I I do love the logo. It's basically just like the dots. What, what would you call them? The fragments of the old windows flag but it's just like in different colors like and it's it's just the fragments it's it's there's none of the cool whatever but the part besides the fragment oh and it turns out windows neptune has sound and now i can confirm that windows neptune does not have like the sub sound you like Windows Expert has taught you. I don't. I don't even know if Windows Neptune has like a like a fake start sound. Like I know. I know Windows Whistler has one, but not Windows Neptune. I don't. I don't think Windows Neptune has one. Anyways, but yeah, it's basically just the same as Windows two thousand slash me. And fun fact. Uh, Windows Neptune was, was in 1999, a year before Windows 2000 and me, so this was actually the first use of the startup and shutdown sounds, so that's pretty neat. And I do not see any desktop, but I'm pretty sure it's just loading the desktop, I mean... Come on, you can't blame this one. I mean, it's an old, it's an old one. Like it's a beta build. It's a beta build. It's unstable. It's not sturdy. Not sturdy at all. 
made very early into Windows XP development. They didn't even know they'll that like Windows F2 and Windows Odyssey would merge back when they created this. Create the first Windows identity. Okay, questionable. What? No. Okay, here is our nice little Windows F2 here. Oh yeah, I forgot about this trick. You can do that and just get all the icons to shoot like that. I don't know. Let's see, I, f I just find it cool. Oh yeah, I forgot. Like the icons on Windows 2000 aren't like locked to a grid. You can just place them like every any anywhere you want. You can literally place them like anywhere you want. So you can make masterpieces like this. It's a, it's a smiling face. <laughs> yeah, you can you can literally arrange them in any way you want. Doesn't matter what. I think modern ones are like locked to grids, so you can to do it. But that's pretty cool. Let's try to squeeze my documents in there. Ooh, just. But anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.